Welcome back to our Afternoon Express Loft with our guest chef, Ushef Zanele, and our resident foodie, Ushef Tumi. You mean winners, Palessa. Let's, let's get it right. You mean winners. Okay, oh, yes, yeah. it's us. <laughs> You see, this is where I feel left out, but you know what? I am more than happy to be in the presence of winners. And not only am I going to be cooking with winners, but we're going to be making winner recipes. Now, if you are looking to entertain with ease, this tomato and thyme quiche is just for perfect for any occasion. It is filled with tomato and a hint of floral thyme and some creamy, cheesy goodness. The Clover Bliss Double Cream Yogurt adds that extra creaminess to make this dish a real showstopper. Domi, what do we need? Well, aside, it's quite Quite a simple recipe, very easy. So what we've got over here is we've got our Clover Bliss Double Cream Plain Yogurt. We've got our eggs. We've got that floral thyme that you mentioned and some spring onion. Into this, we also need some uh, tomatoes that you're gonna chop into or slice in half for us. And then the winning cookbook author over here, Umis Zanele Fancel, will actually be making the pastry for us that we're gonna fill our quiche in. Like so that. to start it all off, I'm getting, gonna go in with the mixture and then Zanele, you can take it. can also start, okay. Yes, definitely. I have flour, I have Butter, I have egg, of course I'm gonna use the egg yolk, mm. with salt and water. And yeah, we're good to go. And I'll use my hands to knead. I promise you my hands are clean. I <laughs> love that. You know, it's all about uh, getting quite physically down and dirty here in the kitchen, but it, I promise you everything is gonna taste absolutely amazing. So for yourself, Chef Zanele, um, what are some of the key tips to keeping a crust perfect? You know, you must avoid using a lot of water. It mustn't be too wet. Mm -hmm. you, can, you see, I'm just going to use butter, mix it well with butter, mm -hmm. egg yolk, and keep adding water until it's the right consistency. Brilliant. Now, the butter. But this is why I like using my hand, because you can somehow feel your dough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, so it's all about not only using your eyes, but also your actual you feeling. Feel it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and your butter, uh, room temperature? Yes, room temperature, of course. I know some people melt it. Mm. Um, it also works good, but I prefer the room temperature. Before you use it, just take it out of the fridge so it's nice and soft. Brilliant. I mean, Dumi, on your side there with that spring onion, Oshav Zanele, when we were talking earlier in our interview, she spoke about being able to wear many hats, especially during culinary school. Mm -hmm. She was a mother, a wife, and kind of a family woman at that time. Changing uh, careers completely is no joke, and you are someone who can identify with that. So being a woman in the industry and um, having to be able to be true to yourself and your journey, how did you find that in comparison to Zanele? I, I can actually relate very much, Balesa, because a lot of times, like you said, we're required to wear so many hats. And you did, you keep saying this, that you don't want to ask this question of what does it mean for a woman in this day? All it means is that the standards are the same now. Just as much as it's required for a man to be able to step up, I believe yeah. that as women, we've also stepped up. This is the moment for us where we're taking the bull by the horns and saying, I can do just as much. Yes, I'm still feminine, like what Anela keeps saying, we're tired of being strong. But you also need. just let me, <laughs> let me set my, solidify my place in the, you know, in the industry, let me be just as recognized as any other great chef out there. Ah, oh, beautifully said. And Dumi. times have changed, mm. you know. Uh, it used to be traditional that women, is, w women doing this, doing that, doing that. Now everyone can do anything. Mm. Yeah. I love the fact that there's so much more versatility when it comes to becoming a, being a woman and what it means to be a woman. That's why I love that, um, I'm every woman, it's all in me. I am every woman <laughs> and you have the right to be every woman. Yes. Now, coming back to this recipe, Chef Zanele, I've seen that you've already separated the yolk from the egg whites, yep. and you've added your um, egg yolk into your mixture. And what else have you added so far? I've added uh, butter, of course, first, and then it was an egg yolk. Now, I keep adding water, like I said, I keep adding water as I go. The more you need, the more it's getting binded together. Oh, wow, okay. See, it's almost there. It is, it really yeah. is. It is also very crummy. Is it, it's almost like a biscuity texture yes. to me. Is that important? Yes, Palessa, because what we're doing in essence here is a short crust pastry. Short and by crust, short, yeah. we basically mean you don't activate that gluten at all. You don't want it to be stretchy. You want it just like this, where you can just simply break it with your hands without working too much on it. What that does is, even when it bakes, when it comes out, it's a beautiful crumbly texture. Yeah. Wow. It's not too hard. You know, like how with pizza dough becomes stretchy, we don't want that with yeah. this type of pastry. It must be crumbled. 
Okay. Now, Domi's about to go in there with her clover double cream yogurt. And what I love about it is that it's deliciously thick, it's creamy, and it just truly is that indulgence, that double cream indulgence in this yogurt that is nutritious and it's just simply decadent. And that is what's so special about it. And Domi, we always say this week in, week out when it comes to clover bliss double cream yogurt, is that it's a source of 10 vitamins, it's kosher and it's halal. So, Chef Zanele, if you've got anyone in Lini who has different eating requirements, that Clover Bliss Double Cream Yogurt is good to go. And we use the plain flavor. It's perfect, Balsa, because it adds, like you said, that indulgence into this recipe. Most times people would use cream. One thing I love about this is that it's got that additional tanginess that we need for this recipe because we mentioned the flavor we're working with today is the floralness of the thyme. Yeah. So you want something to balance it out and that's why the, the Clover Bliss Double Cream would work perfectly in this mixture. So before I go in with the mixture, there Ozanella is going to show us how to pop that into the, the, the baking. baking dish. Um, and then once you've done, in essence, this is what we do, Bala. So we put it into the baking dish, we dock it with a fork to get these beautiful spaces right. to allow the steam to escape. And then after that, you can fill it with whatever uh, filling, filling you've it. got for your, for your quiche. Okay, brilliant. So Chef Zanele, how would you naturally just roll that out? Would you just use your fingers and just make sure everything I is I normally covered? use my fingers. Okay. It must be roasted. You must give it love, you know? <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. And again, if you do want to add that double cream, double indulgence and double flavor in everything that we're creating today. Our Clovel Bliss Double Cream Yogurt is available in 1 kg and 500 grams to take home. We also have a pack that is 175 grams that is also just for that on-the-go indulgence. To get this recipe, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. With the creamy decadence of Double Cream Bliss from Clover, Yogurt has never been so irresistible. Made with love by Clover.